back to Fairway Media's production. Round two, final round, Falling Barn Open 2024. Where we conclude the action in Cedro World, Washington at the NSRA Disc Golf Course North State Recreational Area. This was out on September 29th. Uh, again, this is called the Falling Barn Open 2024. Tournament directors Eric Dibzinski and Lucas Lara. These guys have put on a great um, weekend of golf. Uh, lots of divisions, lots of great weather. We're going to watch Colin Bryant, Ter Taylor Erickson, Cameron Messerschmidt, and Jason Einfeld. Let's listen to the intros. Let's listen to the intros. Boom. 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 You said Justin? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I could be your, it could be your tagline. Haven't quit yet. Your next yeah. batch of stickers. Ready? Look out there. You got you right here. <laughs> okay. Our MPO lead card. First on the box, Dips Dis Finest, Colin Bryant. Hole one is par four, 712 feet. Yeah, Colin. Lovely. Nice shot. Clean nice drive down the yeah, middle. Card, we have Taylor E. Woo, so Taylor Erickson uh, plays in the Northern Seattle area tournaments. Um, uh, first time meeting him. Let's see how it fares on this fairway. There is OB right of the path, and there's long grass um, OB. Third on the box, you might know his name for our NPO lead card, it's Cameron Messerschmidt. And Cameron is well uh, well documented on our channel. Let's see how well he finishes out the tournament. Wow. Very low, but it got over the damage. Rounding out our NPO lead card. It's the second best pro since I'm not playing today. It's Jason Einstein. <laughs> oh, what an intro. Let's go, Jason. Good seeing him a couple times. Yeah, he's really picked up for his drive, but that's not a problem. Good luck, gentlemen. Thanks, sir. Hey, you. About halfway Thank down you. the fairway. Shout out to Fairway Media and Justin Pikes, guys. Hey. 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 hey, thanks for the shout out. Appreciate that. And Cameron's second shot. Ooh, it's safe. Just short of that OB. I didn't think I could throw it. It's kind of the same thing as yesterday. Similar. Very similar. Absolutely similar. And that is a safe shot for Taylor. And let's see how Colin takes his second shot today as he has a two stroke lead. Oh my goodness. Oh no, it skipped too far. There is an OB line uh, long of the basket. They kind of play this as an island. Jason. And that landed perfectly uh, for those, in between those yeah, trees on the ground. Yeah. Taylor's third, uh, third shot is clean. He will most likely get his uh, par four. Third shot. Oh, 
so close. He has uh, a very, very good um, jump putt. Oh, Colin doesn't want nothing to do with that. Excellent. Taking advantage of that birdie opportunity. Oh, we are getting up some dusting of wind. Could affect some drives coming up on that downhill shot. So we've got Colin at nine, Taylor at seven. Cameron at four, and Jason at six. Oh, Colin did get a bogey, that's right. I forgot about that second shot skipping long. And here comes hole two, par three, 299 feet. Jason's going with a wide, uh, so excuse me, a wide high hyzer. Oh, and had a very great approach angle. He almost cans it. He's probably 10 feet away. Let's see how Taylor takes the challenge. Right down the middle. Straight shot. Very short. And you will hear me on this hold start describing some things because on the live phone I was not zooming in. Uh, cell phones are really bad when you're zooming in. So, uh, as the emergency audio is not affecting Cameron Shotty throws a nice overhand right to the basket, maybe 15 out, less, less than that maybe. Oh no. Oh no, Colin uh, flips his drive over OB on the, on the keyhole shots. Up our right, left, 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 left. Bad of a run for Colin. We'll see how Taylor puts here from long distance. Oh, he almost stacks it on top. <clears throat> nice clean putt. Cameron. Excellent. Excellent putt for Jason. Let's take a short walk over to hole three, one of the signature areas where the ball, or the, the ball, the barn is falling. It's the name of this tournament. Jason goes left side of the main fairway for the a safe shot. There is an OB line on far left. It kind of uh, rounds out though, so there's a lot of space. Camera. Really took that tight without going down the narrow middle. That's nice. He'll have a good angle of getting around the the hill, hopefully. The fairway does go up the hill, and then the basket is to the left of the bar. Oh. That should be safe as well. Throwing his drive. Yeah, nice shot. Uh, Starting to learn his bag after right having there. him on the channel a few times now. So he is uh, flirting with the OB line right, but he'll save. Uh, Jason goes nice and high. We will see where it lands. No OB graphics, so it should be pretty good. It's 
like he might be right in front of the mando tree. Colin has a slightly straighter line to the basket, but still a hyzer. Those are pretty, pretty good height. And we'll see where his third shot is here in a minute. <clears throat> and unfortunate early release for Cameron. He landed right in front of the mando tree. Left side. And he chooses a forehand roller. Not much else left here. Well executed out to the middle. He'll give himself a chance. Really fortunate to not get uh, any OB strokes there. All right. Let's see if Taylor is going to try to dunk it in or just kind of keep it close. There is a slightly, uh, you know, I don't know, 12 feet or so past there. There's a little bit of a tree line to deal with. So no damage. He'll be right there for his par. And this is kind of where, a little bit worse than where Kenny was yesterday. He has a scuba left as his option to get up and right. You're out. Not too bad. He may have wanted that a little closer. All right, Cameron's uh, jump putt specialty is coming up. Let's see if this goes in. Very good bit, just a little off. Excellent execution. Taking advantage of the par four. Clean two two really clean drives. And, oh no. What was that? Oh my goodness. Jason wants that back. Alright, now we're moving on to hole four. Fairly open, still OB left and right, so you'll want to be clean. Uh, about 200 and well, 305 feet, there's a downhill uh, past the basket. Pardon my wheezing, I may have been uh, running down the fairway here. Taylor's up next. He's gotten within one stroke of Colin. Same with Cameron. Let's see if they can surge more on their birdie opportunities. And that does leak a little bit left, but it stopped by the sticker bushes. Again, here comes the camera. And again, I'm speaking to the live chat so they know who's driving because I wasn't zooming in. That's what this production's for, right? Use this camera. Zoom. One day I'll have this camera feed live. One day. Excellent hyzer shot. Seems to be the theme for Cameron. Great putt. Sure is fun to watch. And this is a, a risky, risky shot with the downhill slope behind the basket. As he 
finds out how. Maybe a little low, but it's still a two. Cleanup shot for Taylor. Oh, slightly low. And Jason gets his two. So, hole five is a par three, 304 or so feet. Similar distance to the previous hole. There's OB left, uh, no OB right. <clears throat> as far as I can tell, there are lines out there indicating, so the sign says no, no, it'll be right, but every, most of these guys are going to be hysering their shot at a reasonable distance, so the biggest struggle will be getting clean off the tee and then getting near, near those big trees. Most of them are kind of a uh, step aroundable. Looks a little early. How far left is that OB line? But yeah, the OB line is more, way more left than that. He's clean. Here comes Taylor. The lower hides are shot. Let's see if I can skip in there. Yep, right to the second tree, I believe. Which is very close. Oh no, Jason wants that back. And this course used to have some art, um, art style baskets. But it is now standardized. Take a look at the, one of the old relics there. Looks like a space, spaceship or something. Yeah. Real clean hides of putt. So Cameron kind of skipped in bet between these two trees, so he's got a little bit of foliage to work with. Doesn't seem to be a problem though. Takes us to hole six. Christmas tree hole. Narrow gap off the tee. Gotta go long and straight over everything. 400 feet. Part three. Turn. Turn. That might be a little more left than he wants. Oh, I got through. And that took some distance off of that potential there. See if Cam can make the yeah, correction from smooth. first round. Yeah, huge drive. Excellent drive. Great shot though. Shot. It'll work. Thank you. Still down the middle. Might be a little bit shorter than we want, but it, it definitely flew the the right path. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, that's fine. They're just sitting out there beating on it. I mean, bummer. That might be similar to Cameron's. If I remember correctly. And here comes Jason. Oh yeah, that's a fighter. Getting some distance on that. I guess we need to take lessons. Go down there. Dude, I barely missed yesterday, I felt like. And I... Yeah, go uh, watch round one for, for Cameron's little story there. Oh, yeah, well played, Colin. Hey. Uh, 
<laughs> and for that for that shot you heard some cameras in the background I, there was actually a few cameramen including my two cameras his dad's cell phone there was five cameras on him at once <laughs> it's pretty funny shot Taylor check Sorry. yeah well played dude great dude textbook textbook yeah this middle is really the key to the shot if you don't get all the way down there get to the middle Sometimes a, a par on a hole like this feels like a birdie. <clears throat> Especially when uh, averaging a 0.36 over the par. Six. Taking us into hole seven, 248 feet. a technical forehand flick for most and that is exactly how to do it you are within 10 feet of putting at a safe distance away <clears throat> so playing the fairway is uh, the service road and in short of the basket is a steep hill so placement is everything very technical shot. Here comes Taylor. Swing is over stable disc wide and he's in front of the basket. It kind of penetrated through the base of those trees. And Jason gets hung up right in the middle. Oh, Cameron uh, kind of rolled away. He's going to have to finesse this forehand. Sit right underneath there. There's plenty of leaves for it to just kind of nestle. And this is kind of where Carter was yesterday, but Jason almost nails the hyzer putt. That was very nice. Could have easily rolled, though. It's such a dangerous, dangerous hill. Excellent putt. Calling, grabbing birdies. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Pad is literally five feet away from that, so yeah. <laughs> Do want to be careful when you are taking off, driving on the previous hole. Hole eight is 340 feet across the, the walking path. Straight-ish, but still. Yeah, right. yeah. Hey, how are you? Hi, babe. That's a good stick. I like the There's some OB right, but you have to really, really get a cut roll right to go out of bounds. That's oh, so that's nice. Amazing. That could be yeah, it. Yeah. Come on, I could get another one. one. Uh, as long as that gets that forward yeah. penetration, that's a very fine, very fine drive. And here comes Taylor. Try not to let the nice. distractions get in his way. Focus. Yep. <laughs> I know. I'm done it for On this course. On this pad. Jason going standstill. So it doesn't hit that tree. Yeah. Shot, Jason. Yeah. Yep. That works. I feel like I would get it. I used to hit that tree. Huh? I forgot he was talking about that. <laughs> Ooh, good, good run. Yeah. Even if it was a soft bid, it's right next to where it needs to be. Man, Jason, what yeah. flex. 
Well, a panning forehand shot like that. Taylor giving a good run yeah, with his cutter. <laughs> Just had to be here. Yeah, Cameron was mentioning he's only hit this one other time. So he's really making sure he's, he's out. It's a pace. ready for his birdie opportunity here. Let's see if he can keep this jump shots go these jump putts going. And of course he does. It's so fun to watch. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-29. 20-
there is a downhill slope after the basket. Let's see where that landed. Yeah, it looks like Cameron's getting ready for his flippy forehand shot that flips up to flat and goes left. We've seen this a couple times. Ooh, just missing that tree. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a, more, a little more left than he wants, probably. And not too bad of a lie for uh, Taylor's early release drive. Let's see if uh, this 200 plus uh, upshot is clean. It is. Go, go, go. Oh, a little longer. He wants a little longer than that. Okay, yeah. Nothing to do with that. That was cameraman. Cameron just wanted to put it within range to get his par and get out of there. Yeah, this is a death putt here for Taylor. Ooh. That might be insane, but I'm not running blind insane. I bet you were. That uh, did sit a little bit short, but uh, Jason has a tough. It stopped right at that big tree, and he's just straddling to the right of it. There's lie, that is, so let's see if he can capitalize on this par shot. Oh, a little high, but it goes in the basket. Um, go. You go. Wow, Colin. Maybe that was less than 10 feet, maybe. <laughs> Colin really has taken, uh, taken those birdies. Onward, hole 11. 340 feet. Par 3. Another hard to get one. You gotta really miss all the trees on the right, but get the distance. You kind of really want to wrap around this large set of trees on the right, as the, uh, the clean putting lanes are literally uh, oh, yeah, even like with the basket or great. just beyond it. Yeah, it'll be a little long. And that might be just even with the basket. Jason, Jason like goes a little great. short, but it's yeah. skipping yeah. forward, so <laughs> that should be real nice. Yeah, Cameron's turn. Big high highs are letting it swing over. He's he's in the middle. We'll see where he's laying. It. He might be similar to Colin and uh, uh, Jason there. Some snap on it, and that just went way too straight. But it does not penetrate into that bush. He should be able to sneak out, as he can see right here. There is openness to to work with. So let's see where where this might go. He'll have a, an easy par putt. Let's see if Cameron can keep jump shotting these in. Sure is fun to watch. Oh, oh that one just circled barely around it. A little too right. Yep, Jason did get that forward skip. We only got one tree to deal with. Not a problem, apparently. And this is the ideal shot. If you're not underneath, you'll want to be in this gap. As Colin shows you where the birdies be. He is collecting birds. He has a good bird collection. 
Alright, you get it. Oh. <laughs> Here comes Cameron with his par. Not a problem. No mess. Right on the money for Taylor's par. That's kind of a fun hole. You really get to get some distance out. Same with hole 12 here. Let's see. Uh, let's see Colin take this for a drive. And hole 12 is 358 feet. Another one of the art installation old art installation baskets are still here. Colin pipes it right down the middle in front of that tree. He'll have a good look for two. See where Jason's backhand. He's got the distance. Uh oh. It it turned over on him. Cameron's got the forehand. Starts off with a lot of power. Going wide of the large tree. Wow. That was awesome. He threw that probably 370. And here comes Taylor. Oh, must have hit a branch there. Help if I paid attention. I'm slightly late to get to the to the shot here. Yeah. Not a problem though, as he gets right underneath. It really, he really was rewarded by by you know staying in the middle. As Jason gets right now? punished with a little stump. I hit that. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, it, it kicked forward, but not as not the cool kick you wanted. Uh, yeah, sorry. You'll have to settle for a, a bogey save. Oh no. Cameron barely misses his, his signature putt he's been nailing all day. Holland shows his con control, putting it right in the heart of the basket. Goes to 15 under. And again, as Jason had to save his bogey here, some unfortunate drive and upshot there. Really messing with the the mental there. That can get to anybody. Cameron saves his par. Taking us to hole 13. It's fun to see an all gateway bag. 367 feet for hole 13. OB long of basket. A mound to deal with. Get over the hill. Ooh, that probably took some speed off. Probably short of the basket, but in the in line down the down the fairway there. Cameron's turn. Feeling the flow. Getting in his routine with his straight drive. As long as they went far enough. Yep, it went over the hill and slightly to the left where it flattens out. It should have a, a view of the basket. That ended up uh, probably a little left of the basket, but just a similar area to Cameron. wanted that better as he'll trickle down the back side of the hill. That log. Yeah, he may have uh, rid the log a little bit, but should be able to save his par, hopefully. Let's see how far away it is. Cameron a little bit further than he'd like for his jump shot, but this is about 60 feet. He does have OB behind him. 
Ooh, it should be safe though. Dang, barely missed it. He is so pinpoint with that. It's crazy. Knocking the deuce. Let's go. Yep, just as we suspected, it kicked left, but he's safe. What? What a par save. That was fantastic to watch. Wow. Still got a nice lead. Going into hole 14, par 3, 467 feet. Tunnel shot off the tee box over the pedestrian trail. Trees on the left. That one got sna snagged up about a third of the way up the fairway. Oh yeah, and don't forget, there's a ravine on the right side of pretty much the whole hole. I say ravine, but it's the hill, aggressive hill down to the to the tree area where we were before, with all the spotters. And that was pretty clean down the middle, trying to just split it in half. Not too bad of an idea. Gambling with the forehand is Cameron. He gambled. He's fine. He might have a slight. He got one small tree in his footing, but you should be able to dice that up. And Jason gets a friendly tree glance down to the middle, about halfway or a little bit more. And let's see where this uh, if see if this footing is a problem. Taylor does have a lot of pretty good beforehand power. very nice and that just stays right on the top of that hill <laughs> that's a finesse shot if I've ever seen one excellent and very safe very safe shot for Jason Seems to be the smart play. Throw something over stable right at it. If it misses, it goes, you know, away from the hill. Colin. Yeah, great par for Jason. I'm so proud of you. I remember this time. I'm so proud of you. Colin, so <laughs> he keeps getting in the way sometimes, and I have to give him a little bit of flack. But he got out of the way that time. He's learning. All right, hole 15, throwing over a, a like a real big dip to another elevated area. 320 feet. Highs are around yeah. these trees and give yourself a putt. Hey, so. Cameron likes the forehand line oh here. Gosh. As he gets yeah. over those trees okay. and he'll be putting as well. Just leaving it short for me. <clears throat> 
Jason Heinfeld. Go on, right side, right side. Big hyzer. I kind of missed it on the zoom, but let's see where it lands. Oh, just on the, sh a little short on the hillside there. Need to pass the tree though. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Taylor trying to get over everything, but gets kicked a little bit behind uh, Jason. I'm just gonna not. So, so they have a little bit of hill addition to their putt. There's an OB line. I don't think there's OB lines long on this, but it kind of. You really could make it an island hole if you wanted to. Mm. Just a little right. There might be OB long. I, I I could be wrong. I just terrible memory on this. Look at those beautiful skies behind us. The green grass, the green hills. Really is a beautiful place. I love coming out here and filming, showing the world uh, Falling Barn, open at the NSRA and Cedar Wool. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Yeah. Let's so get to see more birds. Cameron. That jump shot is, or that jump putt is so freaking clean. Yeah, Jason gets out of here with his par. And this is where that drive landed for Colin. Getting more birdies. Yes, you do. You do be doing that. That concludes hole, hole 15. Let's go to 16. This is where I got a little lazy. I did not jog down the freeway or the fairway. So I get to move the camera and kind of do a terrible job of showing you where he landed. But he's right in the middle, really long. Some of these uh, bushes could be trimmed for my angle here, but this is not the right place to stand for the cameraman. However, they are. We get to see the hills on these zoom in, so that's pretty cool. These guys are doing a great job of staying clean off the tee, landing right in the middle of the fairway. Since it is 550 feet with a big dogleg right, pretty really wide, really wide fairway. So. <clears throat> Backhand for Taylor. He still kind of ends left, though. He'll be the first to go for second shots. And you can see the backup people on the next hole. Excellent line. He may be about 60 to 80 short, though. It's hard to gauge the distance on the on this one. Four, four, mm. four. Good warning for the rest. But it's short of them. And looks like Colin says nothing's in my way, so let me just throw this. This forehand that goes pretty much underneath the basket. <laughs> Very well done. Very similar line. Well, excuse me, similar results with a higher Heiser line. That was a great shot. I'll take it. I mean, you were definitely feeling what I was doing. I was like, I want to throw this, but I also don't want to. Looks like we're about 80 feet to deal with here. Woo! Taylor Erickson making a big putt. That was freaking cool. It was eight down. Ooh, we got a little rise on the on the flight there. Might be a, a slight headwind or a gust. 
Colin sneakily taps in his booty. Right, okay. As we move on. Very good. Very free for Kevin. So this is where that backup was. There's a pedestrian line. There's a hill left. There's a terrible, terrible hill past the green. So you really have to have a clean drive here. Uh, and it is kind of to the right of where we're kind of looking now. Oh, that's early. Hopefully it sits... And we'll have a good look, hopefully. But yeah, the OB left is further down the hill, so it you really got to stay on the top and penetrate good down job, here Cam. to the right. Over that. No, you're good. Yep. Yep. That's really. a great shot. Oh, Thank job. you. Great yeah, job. that should give him a, a distance that he's familiar with for putting. Taylor's turn. Ooh, maybe a little short, but that was really like 98% great. I'm going to admit, yesterday I was a little sad you didn't sprint out there. After I almost hit my dad and then Colin almost hit his dad. <laughs> okay, here comes Jason with his second shot. He kind of got hung up on this drive. That was a very aggressive. Yeah. That tree probably saved him a stroke. You don't want to careem down the left of that and go downhill. Ooh, that was a little yeah. aggressive too. You went with a skip play towards some dangerous area. You kind of got away with one there, in my opinion. Unfortunately, he's missed. Got a layup here on the right. Didn't have enough speed down there, hopefully, to stand up and roll. Should be fine. And Taylor does a great safe, uh, safe play there. So hole 17 is one of the more dangerous holes here. With the field average averaging uh, slightly above par. Wow, that was basically a one foot shot for Colin for his par. He kind of balanced on his right foot there. It's kind of cool. Whatever gets you in. Yeah. Jason. As Jason cleans up his bogey, you can kind of see that hill we're dealing with. Could have been way worse on that. It really does go down there. Yeah, that's at the fourth difficulty, but you know. With all the stuff in the way. That's such a hard Thank you. Hole. And we are lining up for the final hole here. Everybody gets their scores in. Show these guys a little Thank appreciation. You for yeah, Boys, thanks. Thank you guys for watching as well. Let's see if these guys finish strong here. Hole 18 is 350 feet. Previously, uh, previous years it was up higher by that other barn, but I'm not sure what the reasoning is for it, but we are playing from the short tee with OB surrounding the whole fairway of long grass. That's a clean drive, but he, he wanted that a little closer. Excellent drive. He'll be within his putting range. Oh, that's pretty. That's great, Taylor. Good shot. 
shot, dude. Yeah, now, it's nice and clean. Oh, good shot. Good shot. We'll leave it hopefully within yeah. the circle one there. Walked off, leave it there. And the final drive of the following bar <laughs> open. Jason throws wide eyes the here. Whoa. Okay. You are yeah. throwing the frisbee so He was throwing good frisbees, that's for sure. And Colin smartly takes the upshot so he can have the final putt of the tournament because he has a huge commanding lead. Unfortunately, Jason missed his, I don't know, 90 footer. It was pretty far out there, actually. Here comes Cameron to finish strong. Yesterday he nailed the big putt in front of the crowd. He does it again. Excellent finish for Taylor. Taylor will finish the tournament in sixth place at nine down with a 987 rated round. Jason finishes at eight down with a 987 rated round. And your falling bar winner, Colin Bryant. 17 down. Round two is 1043. Round one, 1051. He really dominated this. And Again, thanks for watching. <laughs> like and subscribe to Ferry Media. Yep. Appreciate you, Colin. That was a fun, fun tournament to watch. Thanks for tuning in this whole time. Here's the scores of your favorite MPO player. Go ahead and pause it if you need to. Let's check out some highlights. That's oh, so that's nice. nice. That could be yeah. it. Come on, give me another one. Nice And again, thanks again for watching, everybody. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers. We're going to do a giveaway soon. Uh, stay tuned for those details. And just a reminder, we do have a membership program. So take advantage of that early access. See you next time. Good times. Good times. It was fun watching it on live too. Oh, how did it look? It was good. It was good. Yeah. All right.